What is the integral of cosine to the fourth x dx between 0 and pi? Well, we can use the double angle identity in which cosine squared x equals 1 half 1 plus cosine 2x. And obviously, we have to apply this to cosine to the fourth x in which we take this entire quantity and square it. Rewriting that, we will say that it is the equivalent to cosine squared x quantity squared dx, that's cosine to the fourth x, and we can now plug that in to be one half times one plus cosine two x, closing the brackets, all squared dx. Now we can move the one half to the front, but don't forget to square it when you take it out of this parentheses. So that becomes one half squared, which is just one fourth, integral 0 to pi of 1 plus cosine 2x squared dx. Now we have to brute force this, there's no shortcut to it, in which 1 plus cosine 2x times itself equals 1 plus cosine 2x plus cosine 2x is 2 cosine 2x plus cosine 2x times cosine 2x is cosine squared 2x and that is what's inside this term here and you can see we have another cosine squared of a quantity 2x where we can apply this identity back into it however since it's 2x we're going to have to double that again which will become 4x so 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus 1 half 1 plus cosine of 4x this time, since 2 times 2x is 4x. Rewriting, we have the same thing here. And doing out 1 half times 1 is 1 half plus 1 half cosine 4x. We can rewrite that again. And adding the 1 half to the 1, we have 3 halves plus 2 cosine 2x plus 1 half cosine 4x. And we can plug that back into the integral. Don't forget the 1 fourth constant. And now we can put in 3 halves plus 2 cosine of 2x plus 1 half cosine 4x dx. Evaluating, we have 1 fourth times 3 halves becomes 3x over 2. The integral of 2 cosine 2x is 2 over 2, since there's a 2 in front of the x. So that'll just become 1. And the integral of cosine is sine, so it becomes sine of 2x. Using similar logic, we can see the integral of 1 half cosine 4x will be 1 half times 1 fourth sine of 4x, which we can say is 1 eighth sine of 4x. And this will be from 0 to pi. Evaluating, we have 1 fourth again, times big parentheses, plugging in pi is 3 pi over 2, plus sine of 2 pi, plus 1 eighth sine of 4 pi, minus the zero boundary of 3 halves times zero, which is zero, plus sine zero, plus 1 eighth sine zero, and from the unit circle we know that sine zero or sine pi times n will always yield zero. So the lower half is effectively zero. We can see sine of four pi times one eighth, it doesn't matter, becomes zero. Sine of two pi becomes zero. And all we're left with is just one fourth times three pi over two, which gives us our final answer of three pi over eight. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.